what is going on with all these earthquakes? Because if we hear the name Andaman, what comes to mind is the Boxing Day earthquake. The Sumatra Andaman earthquake was a massive mega thrust earthquake that occurred on December 26th in 2004 off the coast of northern Sumatra in Indonesia, causing this devastating tsunami. And it has triggered a devastation resulting in widespread losses and destruction across the region. So approximately 20 earthquakes in the Andaman Sea rise tsunami fears again among the experts, not only the population. Of course, if you have approximately 20 earthquakes in the Adaman Sea, that has risen tsunami fears of the experts, not only the locals. So we're close to 20 earthquakes that have rocked the Andaman Sea recently, raising red flags with geologists and disaster response officials, because this rapid sequence of tremors Many occurring in shallow zones has led to increased scrutiny over potential tsunami threats in the region. So according to the USGS, the United, Ge United States Geological Survey, the strongest earthquake registered so far had a significant magnitude of 5.8 and it struck near the Nicobar Islands. And then several aftershocks have followed and that has created large unease among the locals and it has prompted a real-time monitoring of the tectonic activity and authorities across coastal India, Myanmar and Thailand are on high alert. We just had a magnitude 7.7 .7 in Myanmar where we saw the high rises shaking and buildings collapse, high rises collapse. So we're dealing with a high risk zone that Andaman Sea is a high-risk zone. So if it's rumbling in a high-risk zone, of course, you have to be very, very careful because the Andaman Sea lies above the seismically active Sanda Megathrust area. It's part of the Indo-Australian and Eurasian tectonic plate boundary. So this zone is notorious for subduction-related earthquakes, such as, unfortunately, the catastrophic 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that has originated from a similar fault. Not the same one, but a similar. Many in this area. So a geophysicist at the Indian Institute of Technology has explained that the region is like a pressure cooker. And that more minor quakes could mean more energy is building beneath the seabed, not the opposite. It's not releasing tension, it's building tension. So like the current cluster, seismic swarms also are sometimes precursors to larger events. That's why they're so concerned right now. Of course, not all clusters have to lead to tsunamis. It depends on the magnitude of the earthquake, the depth, and the type of fault movement that is involved. And what we need to be aware of, in 2004, there was a loss of over 220,000 people. So that's why also this is a concern. So far, most earthquakes have been moderate and they occurred at depth that do not typically trigger tsunamis. But a seismologist with the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services has said, be aware, guys, the risk is not zero. And the expert added that an earthquake of magnitude 6 at a shallow depth with a vertical slip could trigger a local tsunami and that they're watching closely. They have enhanced their seismic sensors. They're coordinating with international agencies to monitor sea level changes in real time. And the coastal communities are also reviewing right now their evacuation plans and they're conducting preparedness drills. So they're taking this serious. So the local governments in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, but also Thailand's Phuket province and Myanmar coastal states have issued advisories to residents. They're proactive. So 
They have emergency kits, siren systems, and school-based drills that are being updated right now to reflect the recent events. The Indian Meteorological Department and Thailand's National Disaster Warning Center are actively disseminating information. The public education campaigns are also underway to remind residents what tsunami signs are, how that looks, such a sudden sea recession or unusual ocean noise. In 2004, people just didn't know. They were like standing there, oh, look at what's happening. Why is the water going away? And then they're like, what's coming? What is this? The Thai disaster officials say people should not panic, but they should stay informed and prepared. So the Andaman Sea continues to experience geological shifts. So experts are urging regional cooperation and, and ongoing surveillance right now. They think the immediate tsunami risk is low, but the unpredictable of tectonic events means preparedness is the best defense that they have right now. Because these earthquakes are a warning, a wake-up call that something might happen. Historic patterns, and that's the problem, show that such activity often precedes two things. One is good, one is bad. Either stabilization or a major rupture. Authorities are hoping for stabilization, of course, but they're planning for the disaster. They're saying, quote, Mother Earth is talking. We just need to listen carefully and act accordingly. So I thought I'm going to dig a little deeper for you guys. And I found an expert analysis of the tsunami risk that could result from these earthquakes that we're seeing in the Andaman Sea right now. So he also says, although unlikely right now, a large earthquake in the area could occur. But he thinks it's unlikely to generate a tsunami due to the false horizontal slip motion, which typically does not displace enough water to create a tsunami. So university professor Santi Pilopli, he's a geology expert from the Department of Geology at the Faculty of Science at the Chulangkorn University. He has given his analysis of these recent earthquakes that are ranging mostly between three and five plus in magnitude. And he just said that his scientific observations are the following, and that is really interesting. He talks about the earthquake epicenter locations. The quakes have occurred in a cluster near an area that's reported to be a submerged volcano. Oh, that adds to the tension. So if the earthquakes are caused by magma pushing up rocks, they're typically not larger quakes. Everyone who watches my channel on a regular basis knows that, right? However, they could be a warning sign of volcanic activity that is about to come. So if we would see an underwater eruption in this location, that could potentially generate a tsunami that would impact Thailand's Andaman coast. That's what he's saying. Makes sense. And then he looks at the past earthquake activity. He says a similar cluster of earthquakes has appeared in the area in 2005, which did not result in any significant events for Thailand, for example. And historical earthquake data show us that the earthquake, that the area has experienced larger earthquakes in the past, including a magnitude 7.5 earthquake in 1847, a 7.9 magnitude earthquake in 1881. So large earthquakes have occurred, but they were not capable of triggering tsunamis due to the fault lines. They're part of a horizontal strike slip system that is linked to the Sumatra Fault on the Nurba on the nearby island of Sumatra, so which is typically less likely to generate tsunamis. So he doesn't expect a subduction zone tsunami from these earthquakes. So his 
conclusion is. And that's interesting as well, because he doesn't rule out something else. He says he has, he's advising the public on Thailand's Andaman coast to monitor the situation closely because the following possibilities remain. Best case scenario, nothing significant happens, just a series of moderate quakes that will pass. Second scenario, an underwater volcanic eruption could occur, potentially causing tsunami waves to hit Thailand's Andaman coast. And the third one, although unlikely, a large earthquake in the area could occur, but it's unlikely to generate a tsunami due to the false horizontal slip motion, which typically does not displace large amounts of water. They have conducted a tsunami drill in the meantime with the Andaman coast. So this shows you, be better be safe than sorry. This is how they're acting. And I think they're absolutely right. I will keep you updated about that. It's an interesting scenario when we have underwater volcanoes involved, subduction zones, other kinds of faults, and we have this devastating history. If you want to support the channel, guys, check the link in the description. I have a buy me a coffee site. Leave me a message, buy me a coffee. I will answer with a 30 second video message. You can video message me back and we can chat or you support or end. Click the join button, support the channel with a monthly membership for behind the scene videos. I'm going to release two very interesting ones, uh, by the way. And uh, thank you for your supers. Thank you for liking this video and for sharing it. Stay safe, guys. Stay cool. It's warm in a lot of places. I see you very soon. Bye-bye.